Good morning! It's Tuesday morning, bright and early. It is almost 8.30 a.m. You guys, I'm trying to get on a better schedule. I'm trying to be awake uh, and trying to just, you know, not be an anxious, sleeping mole. <laughs> Today I'm going to be testing out another foundation for you guys. I actually got this one on Amazon. This is the Skin Serum Foundation by Mini Melly. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. It's waterproof, natural looking, medium coverage. I was on Amazon and I wanted to look up like a serum foundation, a tinted hydrator, tinted moisturizer, and this popped up. Tinted moisturizers and serum foundations, anything lightweight, healthy, glowing for the summer are super popular foundation based products right now. So Amazon is pretty readily available for everybody. Being a Prime member definitely gets you in trouble. I know I get in trouble because I'm like, it'll be here in two days. I was thinking about doing an Amazon favorites. Let me know if you'd be interested in that because I get so much from Amazon. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. So let's go ahead and dive in. I'm excited to test this out. You guys know how it is. I use a sponge on one side and then a Sigma F80 on the other, which is in my brush set called the Beautiful You Brush Set with Sigma by me, Shui Ninzi. I sniffed, I like went like that and it scared Arlo. My allergies have been so bad lately, like the weather is just horrendous right now. Oh, on my eyes, I'm sure you're gonna be asking about my eyeshadow. I went in with the Be Perfect Manifest Dream Big palette. The color story in this is absolutely stunning. Um, so I have like orange and gold and pink. I'm trying to do something a little bit different. But I still, again, gravitate towards the pink realm. <laughs> so if you're a new viewer of mine, I obviously have hyperpigmentation, texture, extremely large pores, my nose, acne. Um, my skin right now, because it's summer, is more combination. It's leaning more on the dry side. And I just get a little bit oily like on my nose, but I would say it's like normal I don't really know but anyway I'm excited to see how this wears I've been reviewing a lot of other different tinted moisturizers or tinted like serum foundations so definitely check those out I got mine in the shade 05 I don't remember there being too many shades which is a problem why do brands not be expanding their range just saying. I'm also going to go in with primer. This is the She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. This is really, really nice. I've used this a couple times in my videos, but it's great because, like I said, I have huge pores. It helps to conceal your pores. It has a pore filling technology, helps to even out and brighten and correct uneven the skin tone. Long lasting moisture, even if you're oily, you need moisture in your skin. It helps to improve rough texture. It's just got everything in it. And it is just a cute package like that. And there it is. I'll put it on one side of my face. I'll do it on my right side here. It's a really interesting consistency. It's like, I don't know, it's like a solid at the beginning. And then as you rub it in, it like becomes more liquidy. Let's go ahead and do the brush on this side. Oh, this does have like a like a grandma scent to it, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like it just smells like soap, like clean grandma soap. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it actually has a really nice radiance to it as well. And this definitely feels hydrating. Very serum-y. Let's go on this side with the sponge. And I'm using a Real Techniques sponge here. The Skin Serum Foundation is natural looking. Its secret formula is rich in essence of skincare, which gives skin a moisturizing and natural way of makeup. Medium coverage, exquisite texture of medium coverage. Okay, I like it with the sponge a lot more. I feel like I'm able to like spread it out and disperse the product a lot better on my face. I feel like the bristles on my brush we're soaking up a lot of the foundation. Yeah, like do you see how fast that blended out? You can definitely still see a lot of the redness in my face. 
um, an uneven texture and everything. Like you can still see some spots for sure. So I'm gonna try and go in with more and see how much coverage I can get on my face. Getting up nice and personal. As you can see, I have a lot of texture and it definitely is settling a little bit when I scrunch my forehead. For concealer, I whipped out this Superstay concealer. This one is in the shade, what is it? What shade is this? Light, number 15. I haven't used this in so long, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder under my eyes and my Maybelline Super Stay powder on the rest of my face. And I'll come back in a little bit. Wet n Wild recently came out with a collection that is very reminiscent of the ColourPop collection. So I picked up two items here. This is the Passion Session eyeshadow palette. I'll definitely be featuring this in a video, but I thought this one was really, really cool. And then they, I have the My Cherry Blush Duo here, so I'm going to use this today. Maybe I'll just go in like with this blush here. These, I swatched them and put them on my Instagram stories, and they're very pigmented. <laughs> and super soft, and this palette smells like cherry. And then I'll go in with my She Glam Peachy Palette. I bought this myself. I'm gonna go in with this gold down here. I'll go ahead and set it with some setting spray. I've got the Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day here. I finished putting the foundation on around eight 35. Wow, I did that really fast. But here's what everything is looking like. I'll go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Here is the completed look! So I have this lip color on from ColourPop, the Just a Tint. This one is in the shade Lip Cream. What shade is this? Why do none of these things have shades on them? I can never find the shade. I feel like I'm always looking around and searching. And I have my Kira Beauty lashes on in the style A3. Absolutely love these. And yeah, the time now is 8.49. Wow, I did my makeup like pretty decently fast. I am quite surprised with myself. But here's what everything is looking like right now after the setting spray has set in. But as you can see, you can still see a lot of the redness and like some of my acne peeking through. It is settling in my lines here and I'm not liking how it looks very much at all, to be honest. After setting it with the powder, I did what I normally do and I just swirled my brush in and just kind of lightly tapped and I'm just not a fan of how it's looking like it definitely doesn't feel set and it still feels a little bit serum-y um a bit but we're gonna have to see how it wears sometimes as the day goes on it like sets into your face and it ends up looking a lot better and then my opinion changes so we're gonna have to see what it looks like this side is the primed side and I put the primer here and it's not helping with the creasing or anything and I'm not noticing my pores looking any different. It's definitely emphasizing my pores. Can you see? Now we're gonna see how it wears throughout the day. I'll check back in with you guys in natural lighting in a little bit. It is crazy oily out here. It's five o'clock and I'm done wearing this. It just feels nasty. Mm -mm. We are back inside. Like I said, it's like 5.15. It just feels super greasy and it's very shiny and like I said I have more dry skin so the fact that I'm feeling so oily on my nose is crazy. I mean it definitely looks a lot better than it initially did and it's like separating. Down there on my mouth but yeah, I'm not really a fan of how this is wearing personally on my skin. So that is that. I don't want to get in the pool with my face on because I already know that I'm just not going to wear it again personally. 
But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Again, if you have different skin than me, definitely try this out for yourself because it is pretty, pretty inexpensive and it's from Amazon. So, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. It's nice and shiny. I don't know, it's just a little too heavy for my liking. I don't know. <laughs> that was a fail of an opinion, but you can think for yourself what you think.